So with the Texas Emerging Technology Fund, we wanted to show that you could build raceways with implements and tractors that farmers are going to have on hand. Um, in the Pecos region, there's about 200 to 300,000 acres of cropland that is sitting fallow and producers are just waiting for that next crop. So our office came out to Pecos and we used typical implements uh, and tractors that are available at the Texas AgriLife Research uh, facility and we built the raceways ourselves. We did a lot of cut and fill in the first operations and then we had the installation of the liner, then installation of the electrical, plumbing, and um, other concrete systems in order to support those raceways. Many people in the biofuels industry think that we're going to have 500 to 2,000 acre facilities in the future, five to 10 years away. Uh, we also believe that a small production facility would be a, a excellent way for a producer to be able to, to meet his goals of finding that next crop. We're, we're looking at harvesting techniques as well as um, extraction and other processes that we're going to have to make these leaps in, in progress in order to make algae to biofuels an economic, ec economically feasible process. With the Emerging Technology Fund from the Governor's Office, we were able to put on the ground a test, three test beds for algae going to biofuels and bioproducts. And the support systems for those test beds include a, a laboratory for increasing the algae feedstock, a laboratory for testing all of the, the parameters of the growth, the lipid concentration, and um, any heavy metals and other, other elements that we're looking at to make sure that the algae is growing properly. The systems outside include small raceways that are used for increasing the, the algae growth to go into the large test beds. We have different um, propulsion systems that we're testing. Those include a paddle wheel system, which is uh, the, the base knowledge for algae growth. And we have other proprietary systems that we're looking at. We have um, the basic and harvesting uh, uh, facilities, and that includes a centrifuge. We're also looking at other uh, procedures for, for uh, harvesting techniques. At Pecos, we end, currently we are ending our, our processes at harvest. We hope to expand in the very near future, near future to include drying uh, of large scale drying processes and then possibly even um, adding some extraction processes on a research basis.